Hi guys, Miss Acton, uh, doing reading here with you guys. Oh, actually, I have the wrong date on here. Let's fix that right now. Da, da, da. So today is Friday, not Thursday. Oh, that is a sloppy D. That's okay. And it is not March 25th, it is March 26th. All right, so what are we going to be learning today? All right, so together we were going to say um, we will describe how a character responds to a major event. We talked about major event yesterday, and today we're going to talk about this word responds and how a character responds to those major events. And you're going to do the same thing with a different story about Oscar today. All right, so this is the story that we read yesterday. I'm going to read it to you again one more time just to get all the familiar things in your brain. Hopefully, as you're reading, you're like, oh, that was the setting. Those are the characters. That was the plot that we talked about yesterday. Our new puppy and kitten. My family adopted a puppy and a kitten from the animal shelter. They were so young. They did not even have names yet. We had to think of good names for them. The puppy likes to jump up. The kitten likes to curl up in our laps. What do you want to name them? asked mom. My sister said, Pounce for the puppy and Cuddles for the kitten. We all thought those names were perfect. We put their new collars with the tags that read Cuddles and Pounce around their necks while they slept side by side on the couch. And there they are side by side on the couch. So cute. Alrighty, so now let's talk about the word respond. So we kind of have an idea of what the major event is. From yesterday so the major event was underlined in green so the major event is right there where we said that um, the sister finally named the kitten and the puppy dog pounce and cuddles that was the big thing that happened that was the part that we were waiting for the whole entire time but now we need to talk about the word response because we need to be able to tell how the characters responded to them coming up with names for them so the meaning of the word response is how a character how a character oh my gosh character reacts or what they do when something big happens and that something big is the um the major event in the story so whenever you see something big happening in a story you need to look out for what the characters do next okay let's draw a picture of it so um Oh my gosh, I have a great idea. So I'm going to draw a picture of a major event. You guys are going to die. All right. Let's see. Guess what you think this is. What do you think that is? Yeah, it's poop. I'm going to draw some flies around it, buzzing around it. Ew. All right, there's some flies buzzing around it. So this is a pile of poop. That's the big event that's happening. I've walked up on a pile of poop. Now here is the response. What am I doing? Let's say, yeah, I'm throwing up. I'm getting sick. The poop smells so bad and it looks so gross that I'm saying, Bleh. I'm throwing up. So the major event is this thing right here, the pile of poop. Someone left a pile of poop and it's gross and I smelled it and how I responded, how I reacted. What did I do? Is I, Bleh. I threw up from it. So that's how I responded to it. All right, what's the opposite of it? So the the word respond means that you react to something, that something uh, you do something with it, whether it's throwing up, laughing, being scared. There's certain things that you do whenever you respond, but to do absolutely nothing, to just walk past that pile of poop right there, I think the perfect word for the opposite would be ignore, just to do absolutely nothing. So just ignore it. So you're just walking by like you didn't even see it, nothing happened. That makes for a boring story. If somebody wrote a story for you to read and every single character ignored everything big that was happening, it would be a really boring story. So a lot of times in movies and books and stuff that you guys read and watch, the characters are not ignoring everything that's happening. They're normally reacting to it because that's what makes a story good. All right, use it in a sentence. I'm going to grab, uh, let's grab a post-it note. 
All right, so we're going to use the word respond. So let's type that first. I'm going to say Miss Acton responds to coming back to school with a smile. Whenever I heard we were coming back to school and we were going to be able to see you guys in person, I did. I was I was so happy. I was ready. I've been stuck at home for a year and I knew that you guys would love to come back, spend time with your friends and learn new stuff. Um, I definitely had a smile on my face. So that's how I reacted to that. All right, let's go to the next part. So Again, the major event is the big, huge thing that is happening. And the response, how a character respond, is how they react to the story. So in this little part right here, it says the character, um, it's their, the major event was it was their best friend's birthday party. And the character reacted by making him a cake. Beautiful cake, by the way. So yesterday, whenever we talked about the character or the major event of the story, we definitely said the major event is that they named the puppy and the dog because that was the big thing that happened in the story. At the beginning, they mentioned this need to happen. They thought about it in the middle, and then it actually did happen. Now we need to talk about how the character responded. So I'm going to grab the pen tool. So we definitely know that the major event is right here, that they named the dog Pounce and the puppy Cuddle, or the dog, the puppy pounce in the kitten cuddles and they responded by doing this they responded by buying them new collars and putting them on there if this never happened if they never named the kitten and the puppy they would have never needed to buy them uh collars with their names on them because they didn't have them yet so that's definitely the major event but one thing that i want to point out to you and that you're going to read in the story today about oscar sometimes there are two major events maybe one's more important than the other but there sometimes can be two major events so let's pretend that um the major event is the family adopted a puppy let's make that major event number two they adopted a puppy. They don't have any names for them. How did the characters respond to getting brand new puppies? They decided to name them. So can a major event also be how a character responds? Absolutely. Absolutely it can. So there's two major events in here and two ways that the character responded. You're going to see that in the story that you're going to be reading today. So today in the story that you're reading about Oscar and his mom wanting to start this dog park, there's a bunch of things that happen in this big part of this story today. And it's gonna ask you how he responded and actually how the mom, Oscar's mom responded too. There's gonna be two major events that you're gonna be talking about today, but you got this. Just make sure you listen when Miss Acton reads the video to you or reads the story to you. And it'll be super easy for you to pick out all of those uh, major events and how the characters respond. All right guys, have fun and um, good luck, have fun. And if you have any questions, Contact your teachers. See you guys.